guys, great you're here for this new Travel Gretel episode. As you can see, we are still in the heart of Switzerland with some amazing views, just like this one. There will be more. There will also be waterfalls and a lot of surprises. Let's explore. Oh my God. Check it out, we have to get in line uh, to get into the train. But the good thing is we got first class tickets. Um, because we got a first class Swiss uh, travel pass, so uh, I think, I sense, first class is not so busy. <laughs> well, we arrived in Brienz. Uh, we have to take the boat to Gisbach, where they seem to have really nice waterfalls. like a whole lot of cool history about this place but uh, I will probably do that in the voiceover. Yup, just leave that to me. This Grand Hotel was finished in 1874. Look at the elegance of the building combined with the beautiful serene surroundings. You can imagine how the high society back in the days just loved to spend their precious time here. Diplomats, artists, statesmen and even kings were regular visitors. After two wars with disastrous consequences for the Swiss hotels, the fame and glory of Giesbach faded. It even closed its doors in 1979 and plans were made to demolish it. There should be something new, something modern. Fortunately, some people didn't lose their mind and a Swiss ecologist managed to buy the property. He made Giesbach a gift to the people of Switzerland. There's a restaurant now and a small number of renovated rooms. All to ensure this place is used as it was meant to be. A little escape from reality. Giesbach is like the charm of water there. It's like really, really, really blue. Ooh, we're getting some red in the meantime. There, it's like really rough and adventurous. And here, look at this beautiful little bottle. It's the best fuel your body can get. We'll see a very good viewpoint over here. I have that feeling, you know. Leaving Giesbach, it's definitely worth it to take a stroll through the beautiful city of Brienz. We haven't got much time though. They are waiting for us. It 
The Brienz Roadhornbahn is far from an ordinary train. The locomotive strategically placed at the back you slowly climb the mountain to over 2000 meter. This steam-driven ride celebrates its 225th birthday this year. It truly feels like a ride through history. There's a little girl in skibbereen with flowing hair and ragged jeans and floating in a vivid dream as classes go by. And every day at three o'clock she's out the door and down the block and hurries to the river dock with a gleam in her eyes. Last train gone. So we're alone now on the mountain. Okay, maybe we are not totally alone. <laughs> and there is also a hotel over there, but that's not the point. You know, the point is, last train is gone. And there's nothing here. Who is the first one upstairs? <laughs> Going to win. Here it's like just going down. Now the other side, really right on the other side of the hotel. It's also just right going down. So we're really like on the edge of a cliff here. Well, we're only in for a few minutes when they already call us to get outside. Come. with the windows open that there will be a cloud in the room tomorrow. Just like, hello, good morning. And that's the end of this week's episode. But no worries, we will see you next week. Doeg! <laughs>